Yo guys, what's up, it's Krebs, and today I have fueled the Solstice 2021 set for the Titan. Now this is the set you can purchase from the Eververse for 1,500 silver or 6,000 bright dust when you upgrade your rare Solstice gear to legendary. Now I've also made a video like this for the Hunter, so go check that out. And I also have a Warlock version coming very soon. But yeah, I grinded as fast as I could for you all, so please go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future fashion content and yeah i'll pretty much be showing you the set with some armor combos and also at the end some shaders they all might want to see on the set but yeah without further ado let's just get straight into it so this is the ornament here um, on the whole set as you can see it's glowing purple now if you don't know the glows actually depend on what subclass you're using so because i'm using void it's going to be purple so as you can see when i switch to solar it goes to solar red then when i switch to arc we have an arc color as well and in stasis is a darker blue. Now I will say that with this set, uh, you can easily achieve a really cool knight look. Um, you don't even need the ornaments, as you can see the helmet here is pretty cool. Now if any of you didn't notice it already, this uh, glow does create a mohawk. But as you can see, these nice patterns here going around and the rope will obviously become glows. And like I said with the hunter, the glow isn't static. Um, as you could see there's bits which aren't actually like covered by the glow and it sort of like pulsates as you can see it's moving here um, you can look for all the gear even the top here you can just see like the glows like somewhat shifting around and this is also apparent with like the other classes now i'm going to keep to this for now as is a much clearer view of the armor and the glow together then moving on to the arms again we have got the rope bits this is a common theme throughout this set um, I know people really don't like the frills and then obviously we throw the glow on. Now something that is apparent as well compared to the hunter set, the arms are actually symmetrical. So they are the same on both sides, uh, there's no apparent differences here. But yeah, pretty much the glows will just go over the pattern and the rope here, not add anything more like, you know, crazy bits to it. Then we have the chest plate here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the glow so you can better see the collar here. I think this chest plate is absolutely outstanding. I'm absolutely in love with like the actual just natural design of it. I just love how the collar comes around and then just really nice plates in here. Now again, it's like the Warlock and the Hunter. Uh, there's always like an overlapping piece going over the front. So it is asymmetrical. But then as we see with the glow, it adds no bits that stick out. It literally just adds uh, just a layer of glow over the rope and the patterning going around the chest which is something i quite like because this chest plate honestly didn't need any bits to stick out to make it look better and then moving on to the boots uh quite similar design actually to the hunter with the knee plates here and then this nice roping going around the back i just really love like the clean look and like i said earlier night looks will be absolutely perfect for this and then obviously here is the glow as well and then the final piece is the mark so as you can see without the glow uh, there's a nice visible Titan logo here. I love this sort of uh, mark design. I somewhat like big covering marks. I like how it just comes around on one end and then stops towards the back here. And then the glows are apparent throughout the whole mark. And I think this is another awesome mark. Uh, this will definitely be my new favourite over contender mark. As I just love the display of the Titan logo. Now some other armour pieces I found look really good with this set. Is the Halo Fire Heart Exotic. So I've paired it with the Solar Glow here and Omnicronia, so you can better see. But I think these definitely work very well together. Another exotic that you all may be thinking of is ACD Feedback because of the glow. Um, personally, as you can see on the side here, um, I don't think it looks as good, as the arms look a bit awkward compared to the chest plate. And then here it is with the Burning Steps exotic. Um, so these glows, uh, there's not too much glow apparent on the boots they would fully match with the rest of the armor. So I wouldn't really recommend these either if you were trying to pair it with this set. Not unless you were planning on just using the normal armor. I just wouldn't recommend the ornaments with these boots. And then here is the um, Heart of Inmost Light as well. Honestly, if the glow came out a bit more, um, I think this would look much better. But it still wouldn't look that bad. And then one final chest play I want to show you all is the Crace of the Fallen Star. Now obviously there's no apparent glow on this exotic. But like I mentioned earlier, I think it's great for a night look. Even if you don't like the ornaments, to just get the legendary gear. As they work extremely well with the Crace of the Fallen Star. But yeah, there were some exotics and armor on the set, which I think paired quite well together. But now I'm going to be moving on to the shaders. Now something I do want to point out is that as you can see here, when I change up the shaders, uh, there's not one bit that doesn't appear into not shader whatsoever. So it is a fully shaderable set. 
Uh, that is something I just wanted to point out before I get into the glows. And also when I'm showing these shaders, I'm going to show it on the normal armor. And then I'm going to show it with a glow that I think works really well with it. So starting off with a postmatism. Uh, this was recently sold in the Brightness store. I think it creates a really nice black and orange. Um, it's quite simple and that's why I quite like it. And then here it is with the solar glow as well. I think this looks awesome and I would definitely recommend using this if you were intending on using the solar glow. And if you wanted a somewhat similar but lighter look to the set, then I would use Warweary from last season's Vanguard. Then next up we have Omnicronia. Uh, this is a nice gold and also Continuum Alloy for a lighter look. And these are both from the Victory Over the Vault bundle when completing the Vault of Glass raid. And then here is Omnicronia with the Solar Glow as well as Continuum Alloy. Both look really awesome with the Solar. And before I move on to some Arc Glow shaders, I'm going to show you all Conflagrate. This is this season's Crucible a shader. It is a really nice um, shader to go with if you do want to also just get a nice full red with a solar glow. So like with the Hunter set, Amateur looks absolutely amazing. Uh, this is actually from the Season of the Chosen Pass. Unfortunately no longer obtainable but is really nice and I would recommend using it. Especially with the Arc Glow as you could see here. Uh, but I just think it's really awesome. You could even try pairing it with the Stasis as well. So here is the Stasis if you did want a bit of a like brighter and darker look. Then a shader you all requested was Seven Sisters. Um, I think this is much better on the Titan than it is on the Hunter. Overall, it is a really nice shader. It would have been nice to see the patterning on the arms here and the shoulder plates also shaded gold. Uh, but I still think it looks really nice. And then here is with the Arc Glow. I think it's pretty much the best glow you can go with. Now here is Horizon's Blush. Now if you didn't know, this was from the Season of the Hunt Pass. Uh, this is really nice on this set. So like I said on the Hunter, you really want to get some nice shines on your set. You really want to pick shaders with a nice shine and also a really good secondary colour on cloth. This being red on here uh, just creates a really nice contrast on the chest plate. And the glow I'd recommend going with is obviously the solar glow to match with the red and the darker colours of the metallic. Then moving on here we have Nefted Dynamo for a nice neon bright look. Um, I like all the pieces here except from the red. It's a nice contrast and many people may like this but personally I don't really like it because of the white on the outside as well. And that is why it's great to pair it with the Void Glow. It hides all that white and I think it looks so much better with Nectar Dynamo now. Then next we have Vintage Timber here and also Oiled Algae. Now this is a lighter look to Vintage Timber. But these both look really awesome and the great thing as well about both these shaders is because of how they are they don't really favor to one glow color so you can really put whatever glow you really want on it so here are both the shaders with the void glow like i said they just look work with any glow you really want to use another really nice shade i found on this set is dawning tranquility now the dawning event is the christmas event for the game so if you don't have this shader you will have to wait quite a while uh, but this looks awesome on the normal armor and then here it is with the Void Glow as well. Um, it does hide a bit of the nice gold so you usually see. But I still don't think it looks that bad on this set. And if you have played the Vault of Glass and got Bitter Pearl. Uh, you can pretty much pair this one with any glow you want. It just creates a full white on the set. And then if any of you are new to the game. Uh, there is a shader bundle in the Eververse Archive for 1000 Glimmer. This can give you a bunch of different shaders and I just recommend picking this up straight away. And I'm just going to quickly show you some good shaders from that bundle. So here is a uh, golden trace on the set. I think it looks incredible in the normal armor. And then here it is with the solar glow as well. Then next we have Arctic Pearl for a nice purple. Um, but you could also actually use Nebula Rose if you like this more. And here it is with the void glow as well. And then for a darker look you could use Metro Shift. Uh, you could even use void on this or even stasis. But honestly I could see Arc working on this as well. But yeah they are pretty much all these shaders I wanted to show you all. And that pretty much wraps up the video. So if this did help you out in deciding whether to purchase it or not. Then please go ahead and leave a like on the video. And subscribe so you don't miss on the Warlock video coming very soon. I'll try and release it today but if not it'll definitely be out tomorrow. And yeah I just want to say thank you all so much for the incredible support. I do have a Discord which I'll link in the description. As well as the Hunter video if you do all want to see that as well. And yeah guys stay safe and I'll see you on the next video.